Hey everybody. Ah, this isn't the best shot I can find. And I haven't had a haircut. I'm overdue. So I apologize for that in advance. Uh, this is the last time I'm gonna be building these frames for this particular airplane. And it's kind of monumental. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, document this. All right, I made videos of making these frames before. Basically, I got this, this die and a punch. What that does is produces a, uh, a bent shape. I'm using heavier, thick, thicker steel because that's what I've got on hand. Uh, the clearance in here, trying to get this thing, trying to get these components to line up and then bend this all the way down to where these are vertical. You have a U, not cooperating. However, I have a, in, or a, began to utilize a, a, a new way of doing it. When I first started making these beams a year ago, I drilled two holes here and there to line up with these pins that would hold this in together so this would not shift. Because this thing shifting under the punch is it's a nightmare so what i've done today for the first time which it's working and taking off a tremendous amount of work after this process is i'm welding attack on either side of the punch and what i'm doing is i'm getting this shape and then i'm simply going to take them and, and press them flat in the next operation these things are 18 and a half inches long that's the maximum uh length I can get in my little in my 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 die here uh, so let's see if I can make one of these without killing anybody including myself I don't mention don't know if I mentioned it earlier but I, I can't find my mount from my phone it's a disaster out here so I have been standing up to do this little weld here but i'm gonna do it sitting down so i can get it on film it's nothing much man <clears throat> but the reason i'm welding this and the reason for the pins is because if this thing is off cantered, off centered, you know, you'll have one wall that is higher than the other. So then you have to go back and trim that. And that just, yeah, I gotta do this nine times because there's uh, there's nine longitude, I'm sorry, there's seven longitudinals and I need twice the width for the last two. So there's a, a total of nine. So seven longitudinals plus two extensions. So I'm doing this process nine times, going back over, pressing them another nine times. All right, here we go. And of course it, it moved. That's why I stand up and move this and do this welding because sparks go everywhere and it's not comfortable, but uh, fabrication is not comforting. I don't. Whew. All right, that's all that takes. And I believe that the heat on these ends where I have welded softens these up just a little bit, make things just a, a tad easier. Anything easier today is good. <laughs> Having those welds in there, it's, it's an absolute dream compared to sitting here and have to do it manually. And the good thing is, is when I drop this thing on the floor to get it free from the, uh, the die, it, the welds break right off of there and I'm good to go the next b36 canopy I build 
because uh, I've been talking to a fabrication shop where I get my aluminum, and they, they told me they can pretty much cut any part I need, the, the cost of material, plus like a dollar a minute. So the next ones I'm gonna have them build the entire length, which, you know, that goes back to why didn't I do that in the beginning? Because I didn't know I was gonna have the room. But the next time, when I do the XB36, which is my next project, I'm just gonna do one big channel and make a die. And if it takes me two or three presses, then so be it. Because I am not gonna play this joint by joint game. It is, I am, I am tired of working on this canopy. <laughs> Period. But that looks good to go. And we extract it. And then boom. And that's that's the piece and it's it's perfect. It just needs to be folded over to uh, where it's vertical and we got a frame. But that's that, guys. Uh, I'll post a video later tonight showing my uh, getting these things up in the air.